and welcome to Berwick Mitsubishi. My name is Mark Hoffman and here we are rugged up because it's about four degrees and I am here to present you simply the best VY SS Commodore you are going to look at. This car here was traded in recently by a elderly owner, had it on the weekend, the exact story you want to hear and the car just shows it. We'll start at the front of the car, obviously presented in brilliant Holden Red. Got nice chrome headlights with the black surrounds in this model, nice and clear. We're struggling to find, there's probably a tiny evidence of a couple of little touch-ups on the bonnet, but they're really hard to see. Whoever's done it has matched the paint really, really well. Do have the SS branded lower fog lights as well. And the big Holden grille, of course. The bottom of the bar, commonly you see down here, gets scraped on gutters. None of that here, really, really good condition. One thing to note with the paintwork on this car, this is how it presented when it was traded. It was this good. We were stunned by it. So rare to see a car of this age in this condition. Front tyres, a bit hard with them turned in that way, but heaps and heaps of tread there. Now the wheel presents brilliantly. That actually is a little bit of dirt. is isn't actually gutter rash from obviously fitting the tyres to it. And they look like they're almost brand new. So we've got 18 inch factory wheels at the front of this car. Holden V8 badge there. We'll talk about that in a minute and why that's so good. Coming down the side of the car, no signs of shopping trolley, dent, scratches, anything like that. Does have tinted windows both front and back with the factory Holden weather shield as well, the slimline ones, which is even better. Go up to the roof, Mr. Lynn. Lynn's our cameraman for those playing at home. And you'll see it presents perfectly. Not a sign of a bird dropping, a stain, anything on the roof of this vehicle. We'll continue along. Big chrome SS badge on the door there. Coming up to the rear wheel. Yet again, unmarked, hasn't even seen a gutter, and a brilliant condition tyre there again. Pirelli tyres all round on this car, and heaps and heaps of tread there as well. No signs of gutter, of um, scratches, nicks, or anything on the rear quarter. Coming up to the back, obviously a little bit to talk about here. We've got the nice smoke tail lights here. That's factory, good look. Got the high mount spoiler, Series Two badge. And of course, Commodore badging throughout. The rear sort of diffuser there down the bottom, quite a nice look. And a little bit, my camera's gonna have to come around the side. Do have a Remus catback exhaust on this car as well, giving it a nice note. Actually, you want an SS to sound like an SS. Coming down the, the passenger side of the vehicle, from your angle there, if there was a shopping trolley dent or anything like that, you'd see it plainly there. None of that here, it presents spot on. Coming to the rear wheel, this one has just touched just, just lightly touched for about a third of the wheel, but it's only touched the paint, hasn't actually really gouged the wheel. Yet again, a great condition Pirelli tire on the back of this car with heaps and heaps of tread. Uh, coming down the side of the vehicle, no signs of scratches, nicks, anything. On a car of this age, usually I'm talking about little bits here, nothing. This car presents so well. Weather shield, of course, on this side. Coming down to the last of the wheels, the tiniest of tiny rash here, and I'm being brutally picky at this point on this car, uh, and a brilliant condition up, uh, really tire up the front. So around the exterior, as I said, simply the best SS Commodore you are going to find. Around to the front of the SS Commodore now, I've cheated a little bit by opening the bonnet. Let's talk about that powerhouse of an engine there. You're looking at a 5.7 litre LS1 V8. It's gonna give you 245 kilowatts of power, 465 newton meters of torque through a four-speed automatic transmission, you're still gonna get 13.9 liters to the 100. Out of a 75 liter tank, 540 kilometers of average driving range. Like magic, we're at the back of the Commodore now. We forgot to mention the boot when we were doing the walk around. In here, brilliant condition. No signs of stains or anything weird. Heaps of space, massive boot. Underneath here, of course, you do have a steel spare tire on there as well. Still got its fuzzy things. It's never been on the car. All right, inside the SS Commodore now, and quite a nice place to be, actually. They really made these cars feel a bit special, which I like. Uh, in the center, of course, we've got our steering wheel. Little latch under there unleashes it. You can have, obviously, height adjustment there, which is nice. Black steering wheel, leather, of course, nicely molded for your thumbs. Red stitching throughout the center of the steering wheel, a nice feature. Do have the red uh, dash cluster there as well, which matches up nicely. No signs of scratches or wear or anything on these parts, which is common. The, both of all the buttons present really, really well. Left side, we've got our wiper controls. Right side, we've got cruise control and indicators. Uh, we'll go across and into the right. I've got my uh, mirror controls here on the door, like a little joystick for a fighter plane. It's sort of cool. Uh, brushed steel door pull there. No signs of scratches there at all. Over here, we have automatic headlights. Probably should turn them on, as well as the front fog lights there, of course. And it's telling me I need to wear my seatbelt. So let's just hold on a moment. I'll just put my seatbelt on to stop that beeping. 
there we go that's made it happy again continuing on let's join on up the front there as i mentioned red dials on the speedo there but here's something about the previous owner i have not set this up but it's actually sitting over speed is set to 105 so obviously this car has had a very easy life which is nice going across and into the center now we've got a button there to adjust the to play with all the indicators at once if you want to and of course we've got our climate control you just saw me turning the fan down a bit is dual zone driver and passenger of course coming down from there we've got our audio system nice and easy to use cd of course six stick stacker as well as the coolest cup holders in the world how they fold out and flip out like that so quite a nice feature actually coming down we've got uh yet again more leather with red stitching on both the gear knob and the uh little bottom bit down here stay uh, sort of a brushed steel look here no signs of scuff scratches ring marks anything like that on the shifter or the handbrake your power button there of course which i doubt it's ever been used and traction control which has always been on in this vehicle coming down from there four door power windows of course two cup holders and in here we've got a decent sized glove box with cd holders 12 volt socket and a little coin pockets now onto the interior, you're yeah, having a look at the seat, some of the most comfortable seats you will ever sit in. These are brilliant, huge bucket seats, very, very comfortable to sit in. Both leather seats at the front present the same as this one, brilliant condition, no signs of rips, tears, anything on them. Carpets on the vehicle does have floor mats, they're non-genuine, but they've done a brilliant job of protecting the carpet, so the carpet underneath is brilliant. No signs of scratches on the door trims either rear we've got a um, set of carpet mats of course as well and the rear seats as you can see when you pan around there nicely contoured for uh, two people can fit three across the back quite well though we will go up and into the roof lining it's something i look at a lot on used vehicles especially a cars this age no signs of stains scratches handprints anything this car as i said before simply the best you're going to find going to jump into the service books now all right let's go through it we've got the 10 We've got uh, the, t sorry, we've got the initial, we've got the 10, we've got the eight, we've got the 20, the 30, the 40, the 50, the 60, the 70, the 80, the 90. Uh, then we go to 110, and then we've got 119, which is where it's at now. Um, so full service history on the car, except one little miss, but has definitely been caught up on. We've just serviced the car, fully roadworthy, ready to go. If you're watching this video walk around tour of our 2004 SS Commodore, as I've showed you on the outside, almost pristine condition, and I say those words very truly. Inside, same condition, brilliant, great service history. You are simply not going to find a better example of this motor vehicle. Do be very quick for this car to secure your opportunity to own it. Give us a call, 9907 555, and thank you for watching.